pair of students are asking North Medford High School to change policies regarding sexual assault and harassment cases. They started a petition last week, and it's already gained hundreds of signatures. I didn't know what to do, so when I went to the assistant principal, she said they'd look into it, they'd punish him. For Hannah Baker, school wasn't always a safe place. Just two weeks into her freshman year at North Medford High School, she says she was sexually assaulted in the hallway on campus. They only sent the student home for the rest of the school day and I had to share a class with him for like another week before they let me switch out of the class. Now going into her junior year, she is calling on the administration to change the way the school handles sexual assault and harassment. There's an issue going on. They haven't handled this correctly. Hannah and her friend Chloe created a campaign on Instagram called North Survivors Alliance to shed light on what they say is an ongoing problem at the school. Last week, they created a petition on change.org. It already has hundreds of signatures. The students say they want new response strategies for staff, resources for victims, proper punishment for people responsible, and more education in school about sexual assault. I think students need to realize how broad sexual assault and harassment is. Hannah said their health class mostly focuses on consent and rape, but doesn't go any further. Rape isn't the only kind of sexual assault. Clearly, we have work to do. North Medford High School says the health and safety of their students is their number one priority. District spokeswoman Natalie Hurd says they follow state guidelines and are committed to making improvements. Going over kind of what our processes and procedures are, looking at our policies, seeing if there's ways that we can strengthen things up. Hannah says this isn't the first time students in the Rogue Valley have raised these concerns. Ashland High School faced similar feedback in past years, so they teamed up with the Jackson County Sexual Assault Response Team. If you face these things in school, which is supposed to be a safe place, for students, um, after a while, you don't want to go to school. For Hannah, she hopes this petition will lead to positive change in all schools, creating a safe place for students. We've had multiple students come forward about how the school hasn't helped them, and we want that to change. The petition has nearly 700 signatures right now. For resources on sexual assault and harassment, visit our website, klbi5.com.